On today's episode, I am going to show you what is inside this huge mystery haul of random things that I bought in an online auction. You are not going to want to miss some of the weird and random things that I find in here, as well as some of the beautiful things and holiday decor things that I find in here. When you're shopping for mystery hauls like this, you never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Desert DIY. If you are new here, my name is Corey, and today I'm gonna show you all of the stuff I got recently from estate sales. And a bunch of this came from two mystery lots, and I have no idea what's in any of these boxes. So come along with me and discover what I bought and if it was worth it. Let's go through this box first, since it's just the first one on the left side. This immediately stands out to me, and I want to point out that it has estate sale tags on it still. So this is the stuff that didn't sell at an estate sale, and so they boxed it up and sold it in an auction. And this they were trying to get $6 for. Nobody paid the $6, so it came in this box and the box next to it. And I think I spent around $20 for everything in all the contents here. This I think would be really cool. You all suggested to me that... I could put the rest of my seashells into a hurricane jar like this, so that'd be pretty cool. And I guess it's time for the cicadas to sing, so ignore them. Okay. Next, here's a wreath. They were asking $30 for this beat up wreath. No wonder it didn't sell. So I'm thinking for a wreath where all the leaves are kind of, or the petals are all bent and smashed is I think I can use starch maybe and like spray them with starch and kind of like steam them down and maybe I can renew this wreath again because this is a, a pretty wreath it has the grapevine wreath uh, circle underneath now we have some more of this it says fine English tableware by Johnson Brothers dishwasher safe wow hello so I have a bit of this set. I have the coffee pot and the teapot for this that you guys saw in my last video. But I have some pieces of it in here. The plates for your, or the saucers for the teacups, $10 they're asking for the set. Another wreath. This one is in better condition. They were asking $20 for this one. I think it's really pretty. It's kind of primitive and I could definitely fluff up this bow or add a different one on there. Pretty much fall already as far as decorating is concerned, but temperature wise, it's 105 today in Houston. A Santa peanut jar. Okay, $2 for each of these. And there is a boatload of them. A lot of different shapes. I don't drink alcohol, <laughs> so <laughs> I probably won't keep these. These will probably get donated. Here's one with a pretty etched design in it. Literally every shape and size of these glasses. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm arranging them in a pile. I'll show you everything when I pull them all out, but these are really unique. I've never seen a stem like this. I might have to do a Google image search of these and see if they're special, some kind of special glasses. Okay, I've got the glassware sorted. Let me show you that now. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, full eight right there. Three of those, two of those, three of one, three of these, and two of those, four of those, one, two, two, one, four, four, two, one, five, and then one. But these are the really pretty ones I was seeing. Here we go, and they have like a design blown into the glass. It's really pretty. I don't know, I might just use them to decorate with. <laughs> okay, next we have some Oklahoma Sooners memorabilia stuff. That's gonna go in the donate pile. I don't know what that is. I'm kind of afraid to touch it. <laughs> and it's going the donate pile. Ooh, now we're getting to the good stuff. 
Look, and it has a plate holder on it. <gasps> this is exciting. It says fine English bone china with gold. Beautiful. And then I have a set of four. Oh, they have different pictures on the saucers. Wow. How cutie. No maker's mark. What about these? Pastoral Homer Lachlan? USA. Made in USA with the wheat. I'm going to have to look that up. Or you guys can just tell me if you know. But it's the same maker for these. Cool. Um, this is a flash for a camera and camera parts. I'm going to look into it, but maybe not. I'll just donate it. Here's a soap dish. This would be cute for Christmas. It's made in China. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, the red checkered house. The checkered house is old. This is as it looked when I was a child. It was a stopping place where they changed horses every two miles. Oh, we traveled fast in those days. Anna May, or Anna Mary Robertson Moses, Atlas China, New York, Grandma Moses Properties, first limited edition. Hmm, that's pretty cool. Here's another one, but it's the same. Oh no, this is different. No, it's still Grandma Moses, but no story. This looks like a Christmas version of that house. Yep, it is. Same house in winter. Oh, here we go. 1975. Ooh, this is my favorite thing so far. I know you know why. <laughs> Provincial garden inspired by a late 18th century English copper plate printed textile in the collections of Colonial Williamsburg. Berg. Spode, made in England. Mm, that's interesting. But I'll take it. <gasps> oh my gosh. What do we have here? Man, this is a good haul. Countryside. This is a Wedgwood. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wow. So exciting. Um, I see some green and white under there. Oh, some cut crystal. Some votive holders. Cute. A nail. <laughs> and this looks like it's from the 90s. Made in Taiwan. Yeah, it's going to go to donation. <laughs> Not for me. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what to think about that. That's somebody's picture. Okay, some crystal. No idea who the maker is, but let me tell you, Cut Crystal is coming back in style right now, big time. Yeah. I'm covering, I'm so afraid there's going to be bugs in here. Oh, yay. All right, what do we have? A golfer? <laughs> I don't know if I want to keep Mr. Golfer. It's from 1993. Donation pile. Thank you, sir. Okay, this looks like it's from that collection. What do we have? Oh, it is. It says, To Mom and Daddy from Kay and Ken, June 1955. Oh, my gosh. Out for the Christmas tree. Oh, with what joy and pleasure as we get to get together. To go for the Christmas tree. What air, what air castles we build. Um, okay. <laughs> As we slide down the hill, oh, who can rebuild what we see on that Christmas tree? Same thing, the Moses, Grandma Moses, 1955. Oh, I really like this one. Let's see. La Cartuja de Sevilla. Wow. Interesting. I believe 
maybe essays for España. I don't know. Is it from Spain? Pretty cool. And a Christmas cookie plate. This is Furio Home. Make it hot in microwave. Not for oven use. Oh, made in Italy. Hello. That's pretty cute. I am sweating so bad. Okay, so here we go, Mr. Farmer Guy. Countryside under glaze print. It's like the country scenes. For everything. Oh, my God. I think that's it. Yep, that is all for this box. Box number one, done. Now I want to show you these because I picked up the pair of these for less than $20. And all we have to do is repaint the frame. The cushions are in amazing condition. They're just dirty, obviously, from being outside. This fireplace screen was in with one of the the lots that I bought and I didn't even know it was included in the lot until the guy came running out to give me it before I left I was like that's not mine and he said oh that was part of the lot <laughs> but it's pretty I feel like I'm not a big fan of the colors that it is now so maybe do it all black or all white now let's evaluate what is in here which it seems to be all greenery I decided that after experiencing a Texas drought that I wanted to start buying fake greenery secondhand to fill all my pots, my potted plants, so that I never have to water them and they're always green. <laughs> so that is going to be a project I show you pretty soon. I just need to go to Walmart or somewhere and buy some pots. Or maybe I can find some secondhand. That would be ideal. It's just funny because sometimes when you buy pots secondhand from estate sales or auctions, you end up paying more than it would cost to just go get it at Walmart. So most of the time I just go straight to Walmart. These are really good quality faux plants. This would have probably cost hundreds of dollars. Hello, jackpot. And even though there's a bunch of small pieces that fell off, I know I can put them back together in a way that looks really pretty. Seems like we're finding some more treasures under here. I'm excited to see what that art is. And um, if I forget to do it in this video, remind me later in the comments <laughs> to show you some um, hanging potted plants that I bought from a different estate sale that are so realistic looking that even I sometimes think, oh, it grew. <laughs> but it's still the same fake plant. <laughs> and they're in beautiful hanging copper pots okay so we have like what a hunt this is like a, a fox hunt or something these are really neat paintings and drawings and stuff I like how these look and I feel like they would look so cool in a, like a man's library or something or anybody's library I guess I don't think it's antique because well I'm, I guess it might be I'm seeing cardboard back here, but it seems like the cardboard was added later. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably from the 50s. Hmm. <clears throat> what do you think? We'll just put that here for now. Okay, another picture frame. Ooh, more art. More hunting art. This is definitely not that old, unless it was reframed. This frame looks like it's from the 90s, probably, maybe 2000s. Okay. Some more, just a bunch of picture frames. Here we go. We're going to blast through these picture frames. Oh, that's pretty. There's a matching one. Regular old picture frames. I could do some crafts with these, I bet. Oh, these are pretty. Oh, and another matching one. I love these little ones like this. All right, that box is done. I have another one of those chairs under here before I go. <laughs> and then over here, I have a Victorian era mirror that has seen better days. This I have never seen. It's on the back side of the mirror, so you can't feel it. It's in there, pretty cool. But it has a lot of alligatoring going on. I don't know 
exactly what I'm going to do. I might just leave it as it is, but it does need just a little, a little something. <laughs> but that mirror I got for like $7, I think. What is in here? Mystery. It says, open carefully, do not cut too deep. Oh, what is it? Is it art? What is it? What are you? Oh my gosh, I think it's some of these pictures. Oh, I hate it when that happens, when people's pictures get so... What? 3D home kit? It's how to build a paper house? What in the world? I have never heard of such a thing. Paper dolls, yes. Paper house? What? I, I doubt it's complete. I don't even know. That is really something. Time for the next box. First things first is this little reindeer photo card holder. Let's see how it looks in real life. Oh, it's bigger than I thought from the picture. Oh, it's actually quite big. Okay, I put it together for y'all. <laughs> My girls are going to love this. It's definitely bigger than I thought. It has little ice skates as though it fell down. How cute. I have officially reached the point where I am so sweaty that there's like no going back. So no matter if I go inside now or not, I am going to be soaked. So <laughs> might as well finish. Okay, what do we have in here? All breakable. Wow. These are very dirty. Seems like it was a music box. Could use some cleaning. It's cute though, little sparrows. Oh, I have to stand in this patch of sun here and I just really don't want to. Let's see what is in this next box. I'm a little bit afraid to touch everything because I'm afraid there's gonna be bugs. <laughs> I can tell that this stuff was stored like in a garage or something like that. The first thing I found is a pen cap, and then I found about 10 of these ice cream sundae looking glasses. Here's some cute little bowls. They are hand painted from France. This one was pretty nasty. It had tissue paper like wet and stuck to it. And unfortunately the hand painted part of it has seemed to have washed off on most of them. It's still very pretty. I think I might still keep these to decorate with. I'm not 100% sure. And I think I have 8 to 10 of them. So once I wash them up myself, I can get a better idea of what I might want to do with them. There's a cute little glass like bowl or vase and another one with grapes on it. I thought these could be redone and used maybe as a plant pot. Look at this creepy guy staring at me in the box. <laughs> This is actually an Avon statue. I find little Avon stuff like this all the time. Tell me in the comments if you ever sold Avon. I didn't, but my grandmother did. Here is another Avon thing. It's a little elephant statue. Um, it's, it's pretty cute. Um, I don't think I'll be keeping that. That'll probably go to the donation pile, but it's still cute. More of those Sunday glasses. Here's a pretty vase I thought was Christmassy in nature. Later on in the video, you'll see a full set of that Christmassy stuff. This I thought was really cute French country. I'm not sure if I'll keep it that color, but I don't know what this is or what the jewel on the top is supposed to represent. I'm not sure. This is going in my donate pile. Um, not my style. Here's a, a nice little pitcher. Also went to donate. Here's um, an ashtray, and I don't know what the thing on the left is, but it seems that somebody used it as like a plant plate underneath to collect water maybe or maybe it was just left outside they're very very dirty speaking of very dirty look at how sweaty i am on my shirt <laughs> a bunch of glass stuff in this box and some random uh, like silver cup here uh, a lot of this stuff i think i'll probably donate uh, here's a golden swan this might be cool redone here's this adorable teapot but unfortunately it was missing its top so i donated that one some cute little fruit hanging wall decor. And this I thought my son would really like for Christmas decor. He's really into pretty much anything with wheels and tracks. So he'll probably play with this this Christmas. Here's a cute strawberry planter that I will be keeping and testing out. 
there's some more strawberry stuff so somebody likes strawberries and then I found some of these boxed little shell glass boxes in their original boxes but they were very dirty and gross I did not keep these these I donated and threw away the dirty gross box here's a pretty little vase I might clean that up and keep it another little heart vase or sorry the heart box <laughs> This one was in really perfect condition. It was cleaner than the other one, although I did not keep this. These I thought would make a really fun makeover, so I think I might do a makeover on these little things. I'm not sure yet, but I'll keep them in my pile of things that I might do in the future. Maybe even redo the basket too. I don't know, what do you think? Next, I have this gigantic plate stand. This is twice the size of my head, and I will probably be keeping this one. This would be great for parties for serving, um, like cookies or cupcakes and then a cute little planter bo or a planter vase this I thought was kind of funky on the outside it says it's a crock like to hold wooden spoons and utensils and stuff but then when I opened it up it was a candle so then I read the instructions and it says you're supposed to burn the candle first until all the wax is gone and then reuse it as a crock and I thought this was a great idea and a great representation of how in the past we used to be much more thrifty with the things that we owned instead of things being single use. Here is a candle topper. I thought it was really pretty and it was actually really sharp when I picked it up it almost cut my hand with the the uh, shape of the flowers. This is really pretty. It's a little um, kettle and it has a painting of blue bonnets on the back side of it. And there was another one of those cute little reindeer uh, card holders. This is a cute 4th of July patriotic candle um, warmer, candle burner thing. I thought was really cute, although I probably won't be keeping this one. This I thought was gorgeous, and I thought this would make really, uh, really cool candle if I could fill it with a candle. But then I flipped it over and it said father on the other side. So I don't know any fathers who would particularly like this as a gift, so I might be donating this to somebody else who wants to get it for their father from the thrift store. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. Here's a morning prayer cross to hang on the wall. And then in here, I don't know what this is for. If you could let me know. I do not know what that would be used for. And then some vintage Christmas tree ornaments. Um, these kind of cr uh, old ornaments, they're vintage now because these ones are from the 90s. I thought it was funny because they're actually from Hobby Lobby from the 90s. I didn't even know Hobby Lobby existed in the 90s. <laughs> but I uh, had another little frame here, but it had a plastic insert instead of glass, so I'll be donating that one. And um, then the next thing I have are these little salad tongs, I guess. They are made to appear antique, although they are very flimsy quality metal. And I don't think I'll be keeping these, although they are pretty neat looking. They would look pretty in like a jar or a crock or something decorative. And then here's a cute little spoon rest. It has two spots for two spoons, which I thought was cute. Some more Christmas ornaments from the same time era. And this plate is also from France, although it does have a German name on the back too. But France and Germany were pretty closely related for a while there, so I do think it is from France, maybe with some German influence there. I'll have to look that up. If you um, recognize that, let me know. More of those same snowmen and uh, the exact same spoon rest again. I don't know, I might keep those, I'm not sure. I might make them into a Christmas village. Here's some measuring cups that go to that Christmas vase set that I was telling you about earlier. This vase right here. I think that's really cute. And here's some cute little Victorian ladies in a frame and uh, a dingle hopper. <laughs> I couldn't help but call it that. Here's some little Avon, I think, perfumes that are tiny little gingerbread houses, which I think are adorable. This would be cute to decorate with, like on a little three-tiered tray. This was one of my favorite things in the haul, this big old basket. And inside that basket was a little sign that said Grace on there each day with thanks, which I thought was pretty. Here's a little vase. I don't know if I'll keep that one. But this chinoiserie vase, I definitely want to keep. And I already have a plant I want to put in there. Some more Christmas stuff, a bunch of ornaments. These ornaments I really like, and I think I will be keeping these. Uh, and then inside this box was a little framed poem called like the tapestry of life or something like that that one went to donation here's the lid to this really pretty cut crystal uh, bowl like a candy dish i'm guessing i was so afraid there was going to be bugs in there and there wasn't bugs there was mouse poop instead how disgusting but good thing this can be cleaned up 
and my hands definitely can be cleaned up after this. I washed my hands vigorously after doing this video. <laughs> More of that Christmas set. I don't think I'm going to keep that Christmas set. I think I'm going to donate it, but I I don't know. I'm going to I'm going to sleep on it. <laughs> Inside here are um a cute little set of hummingbird flowery like wine glasses, champagne glasses. I I'm not familiar with which is which. And another beautiful Czech Republic uh, cut crystal. Here, I believe this is actually a Texas Longhorns uh, themed Christmas tree, but I'm going to use it for fall. Um, I don't really watch sports, <laughs> so I'm just going to decorate for the season. I got another little Christmas tree too. And then I have this little plant stand that I intend to make over. I think it would be really cute to put outside with some more fake plants. I got the a set of four of these chairs, but I have one of them in my house already. And then this little box, they were trying to sell for 40 bucks, and man, it was gross and dirty like everything else in this haul. <laughs> I'm going to uh, spiff this thing up a little bit, clean it, paint it. This is one of my favorite things in the hall too. It is a plant stand. It looks very New Orleans to me and I think that it's going to match my house really well. I think I'm going to put it actually on my upstairs balcony. I hope you enjoyed my gigantic haul. I have a huge mess to clean up now in my driveway. <laughs> and then after that I have to go pick up more auction finds that I bought a couple days ago. I will show you that in just a few minutes. Now it is a few minutes later and I have all this stuff. The first thing I want to show you is this beautiful glass decanter. I got it because I just loved that stopper on the top and I think it would go really well in this glass cabinet here in my dining room with those other glass things and I got some votive or candle holders I think would look really cool for fall especially this one and then that one over there I think is really pretty. These I could probably put some different colored candlesticks in for different holidays. Um, you actually might remember this next thing from earlier in the video. I washed it and wanted to show you how nicely it cleaned up. I can't wait to decorate this one for fall already. And I went and bought some potpourri from Hobby Lobby that I'll show you right here. It smelled amazing. I just had to get it. And then I also have this massive candle that I've been waiting to find a reason to use. It came in with a bunch of other stuff that I had bought a long time ago and I never found a reason to use it. But this I think is finally big enough enough to hold this candle with that potpourri in there. I got this really pretty glass ball uh, lamp right here with the glass ball on the top on the finial. Had a great shade on it. I think this is going to go really well with my ugly duckling challenge piece for the style that I'm doing because the challenge is themed to be add a little bit of sparkle and I think this would be perfect. It would go with the type of sparkle that I'm adding to my ugly duckling piece. So Make sure that you guys have hit subscribe and put on your notifications because my next video is actually that ugly duckling and there's going to be a lot of other people participating and turning in super ugly things into beautiful new pieces of furniture. But the next thing I want to show you is this lamp right here. I absolutely adored this lamp. It was much bigger in person than I thought it was in the picture on the auction and I can't wait to get a new lampshade for it because the lampshade that it had was really huge and like disproportionate to the size of the base. And this harp is way too tall in my opinion. It would, <laughs> it just doesn't look right having a massively tall lampshade on the lamp. I prefer it to be a little bit shorter. And um, so I think I'm gonna use this one. I had uh, got this a long time ago secondhand and I think it'll look really great. If not, I can always go buy a new one to go with it, but I do wanna get a shorter harp there. I think I'm gonna paint that gold piece black to match the base that it has, since it has a uh, black finial as well. I think it would all look much better if it was cohesive that way. Plus I hate the faux gold look that it has um, on that part of the lamp there. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you next time for the Ugly Duckling Challenge next Sunday. So stay tuned for that and everybody else's projects that are going to be on there. I will announce the winner seven days after that playlist goes live. So stay tuned for that as well. Bye.